93.6 Global Radio. Bill Anderson is the only non-Spanish person on the council at Mijas. We're catching up on the phone to get some clarity on the lockdown rules. Bill, it must have been a really busy few days for you. It has been chaotic. Um, it really started on Friday afternoon when the state of emergency was declared. And it hasn't stopped since then. It's been um, 12 to 14 hours a day trying to answer people's questions, yeah. So, Bill, are you at work at the moment? I am at work. I'm in my house. I'm working from home, which is it is good in some ways because it, it meets the conditions. Uh, Bill, if you're not able to leave your home because of the lockdown, can you tell me who is able to leave their homes? You, you, you ask the easy questions, don't you? <laughs> it, 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 it is a very complex situation. We, we know that there are some businesses that have been told they must close. And we're talking about restaurants. I think a lot of hotels are closing. Obviously, they, they have to stay open if they've got people in them. But th- there are places, bars, restaurants, places of recreation. Um, th- 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 these really have all had to close. Who is able to leave their homes? Well, the Royal Decree said that people are allowed to go to work. And I have to say there is still a certain amount of vagueness about it. If people are working in offices, uh, it's a closed environment, and they're working over the telephone, they're allowed to go to work. It gets complicated when someone is, I, I don't know, a builder or they do installations in people's homes. Are they allowed to go? Well, I guess in theory they are, but this is a situation that none of us have ever been in before. I think probably since the Spanish Civil War, there hasn't been a state of emergency with these kind of conditions in Spain. So we're really just learning as we go along about um, what the real implications are for it. If you do go to work, what do you need to have with you in case you get stopped by the police? Well, it depends on on your circumstances as a a worker. If you are uh, an autonomo, you should take the um, your autonomo documents and and the form 036 and social security registration. If you are an employee, then there is a form which your employer should give you, which basically states where you're working and where you're going, and you should carry that with you at all times. And besides work, what other legitimate reasons are there for leaving your home? Basically, to use the services that are open, you can go to a petrol station, you can go and do your your supermarket shopping, you can go to a pharmacy, you can actually go and buy your tobacco if you need your your, your cigarettes. What you have to do is to go straight there and straight back. Uh, You shouldn't be going to pharmacies that are across the other side of town or petrol stations that are not closest to you. Bill, is it true that if you're driving somewhere, you can't have a passenger with you in the car? Basically, yes. What, What they are, Um, asking for is that people travel one per car. I think there are a lot of reasons for that. They want to minimise the number of people out there, first of all. Secondly, um, a lot of supermarkets and shops are restricting the number of people that can come in. Obviously, there will have to be some kind of uh, exceptions to this on, on some occasions, but you need to really try to demonstrate if there are if there's more than one person in the car, why is there more, one, more than one person in the car? And again, the, the, the Guardia Civil are, are stopping people and asking these questions and fines are being issued if there's not a good enough explanation for it. You've mentioned the fines. Do you know how steep they could be? If it's a very serious offence, it's up to €600,000. Um, now, I, I, I don't imagine for a moment that these kind of fines are going to be uh, levelled against individuals. This may well be for big businesses that in some way are, are breaking the state of emergency. But w- we are talking about fines of around €600 Euros for, for, for the man and woman in the street, uh, which is big enough. Bill, thank you so yeah. much for taking time out of your busy schedule to chat to us today. You're very welcome. 93.6 Global Radio.